Hello again, it's Everbroken here doing a guide on Lightworks on how to do some titles and some transitions. So we're going to go ahead and start a new clip. I'm going to go through this pretty quick on getting these clips here. If uh, you need a little bit of help, you can watch my previous video. It kind of shows you exactly how to get all this going, you know, the basics on uh, Lightworks. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll put all these clips in the timeline itself. Just put them right there. We'll zoom in a little bit. Okay. So here's all of my clips. Every single one of them. Alright. And it's a bunch of Call of Duty stuff. So we're going to go ahead and go to the special effects. Now there's multiple things you can do here. I mean it's... They're all labeled. They're all fairly simple to use. Now, granted, this is the free version, so you're not you're going to be missing a couple things here and there. But if you're using the free version and you're just getting started, this is the perfect guide for you on seeing how to use these. Grayscale. You grab it. You pull it. And you can actually adjust everything. Red, green, blue, all that good stuff. If you're wanting to use this one, you can just go ahead and X out of this if you're wanting to use the default settings. And now everything is in grayscale on this just one clip right here. Then you can play it. It's all in gray. I'll show you a little bit. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's easy on here to see what's going on. Uh, mixes. Mixes are going to be your transitions. So if you're wanting to squeeze, push, blend, all kinds of good stuff, all you have to do is just grab it and drag it, put it right there in between. Zoom in a little bit. You see it kind of puts a little thing there, kind of gaps it off. And when you play it, it actually dissolves or whatever effect that you put on there, it does it. You see how it kind of just kind of faded off and then faded back? Let's see what else we can do here. We can do Luma Wipe. Put it in between right here on the center between the uh, clips. And then you just X out of this. I mean, you can change it if you want colors, if you want to change it a different way, or invert it, time it, all kinds of good stuff. You can do that right here. Usually you just keep it default though. You can X out of both of these. And you just pick a spot. We'll go ahead and play it, see what that actually looks like. See how it kind of just blackened out? Play that a couple times so y'all can see it. Kind of blacks out, looks like. Now, if you're not wanting what you just put down, you can actually use the undo button and undo that actual piece. And you can undo it multiple times. You can click it over and over if you just don't want those transitions in there. And say you want it to push itself off. So you go ahead and put it right there in the middle. Go ahead and X out of this. Push this back a little bit and let's see what it looks like. And there's that. Now it kind of pushes it off. It put, pushes the next clip in. Let's try the wipe. Alright. So we'll get out of this, get out of that. And this is the squeeze. Alright, and this is the wipe. Kind of wipes it off the screen. Okay. Um. Pause that real quick. Now, that's pretty much, you know, transitions. You'll get a lot more if you get the Pro, but that's just the standard. There's, there's a couple here and there that you can use. Um. It's really good for beginning software. Um. If you're just using the free version or just doing small montages or stuff like that it, this is a perfect program for that now you can do like I showed the color correction you can make favorites um, we'll go ahead and do the titles and you can set it however you want um, usually you can put it on top and then you can name it whatever you want um, we'll just name it Broken Gaming then you can make it bold, italic, you can do colors on it, size, you can make it bigger, smaller, and you can actually move this out the way so you can see what you're doing to the clip. You can make it big, small, uh, you know, see through, if that's what you're wanting. You can do different colors, um, let's go here, actually shows the color scale, so if you want to 
you know, red. Gradients as well on them, like a sheen. Sheen's pretty nice. You just click that, and you can do two different colors, and they kind of, like, fade into each other. So, so you can do, you know, that, that looks pretty cool like that. Just click it, and you just do it timed. And if you do the little time symbol, it actually fades in and out. It's a pretty cool little deal. Let's see. I'll show you. About right there. See how it starts fading slowly but surely? And now it's, you know, the color that you set it to. So it, it took a little bit of time. It started out red. And then it slowly makes its way into that green red that we set it. And then it fades back into red at the end of this clip. At the end of this little section. And then it goes to the next scene. And it, it kind of goes with it as well, so it's a pretty cool little deal. Um, we can go back to this section. It brings us back up. Um, you can do the position. You can put it wherever you want. If you want it way over here, way over here. Usually in the centers, you know, where you want it. Um, you can do shadow. Shadow's pretty cool. You can do, like, a black shadow. And you can offset it. See how it's kind of messing with it on my screen over there? You, can, you know, put it way down here and make it all blurry, you can make it pretty solid. Yeah, you can pretty much put that wherever you want. It's a pretty cool little deal. And if you scroll down on this page, it actually gives you the grayscale. It shows all of the features and effects that you have on this little clip right here. So if you need to mess with the grayscale, or if you want to take the grayscale off, you just remove this component, or this little green light, you can click it, turns it off, and it shows what it looks like without it. And with it, if you push that X, it completely goes away. You have to go back to effects, find it again, set it all up. But if you use it the other way, it keeps it there just in case you don't have to keep it on. Now, another cool thing is you can do effects, fade, and typewriter. Typewriter usually looks the coolest, in my opinion. So you go ahead and go to this, and it actually, you know, types it out for you on the page. And you can slow that down, you can do all kinds of stuff with that one. And you can put multiple effects in each clip. So if you're wanting to do, you know, black scale, faded out, all kinds of stuff, color correction, you can do it all in one clip. Um, you just use the effects tab. That's how you do titles, and there, there's multiple... You know, categories. If you want it to crawl, roll, you can actually make it roll. So now you have the effects page and it's on roll. Now you can do Ever Broken Gaming. Okay. And I have it on there twice, so we'll scroll down and find the other one real quick. Turn that one off. Alright. So we can go ahead and push play. And it actually rolls. And you can speed that up, slow it down, and do the same thing on colors, sheen, time it. All of that good stuff as well, but see how it just kind of rolls up? And you can make that so much faster as well, so if you just want to, like, credit, crawl. You can actually make it crawl. So in this clip right here, we're going to make it crawl. Uh, let's see. Alright, so we'll do that. We'll make it bold metallic. We'll start it, see what it does. So yeah, it's crawling. And you can position this wherever you want it. You can put it up here, put it right here in the middle. However you want it, you can change the size, all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of uh, stuff that you can do to change it all up. And it's the same with every one. Color, you can do, you know, purple. And it changes the color to it. But yeah, that is how you do transitions and titles. I'll be making multiple, multiple uh, videos on Lightworks still, on multiple color corrections. You know, making a lot thing, a lot of things, you know, blossom and show, and it's there's a lot of cool things you can do with the software. So I'm gonna make a couple more videos on what you can do with it, uh, audio and video wise. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.